I'm Senator Fred Madden from the state of New Jersey. I'm in the 4th Legislative District. I've been in the Senate now. This is my eighth year. It had come to my attention that individuals who were unemployed were being uh, directed not to apply for certain jobs or various jobs, no specific sector, but various jobs throughout New Jersey and throughout the country. So I drafted the bill in conjunction with Senator Beach to prohibit the use of language in ads simply saying the unemployed need not apply. It's a rather, uh, in some veins, it's almost like you're, uh, you're passing a bill that's almost a common sense bill that you just don't do this to people. But in the legislature, sometimes that has to happen just to protect people. It's rather unconscionable in today's time with the unemployment rates being so high, and New Jersey being one of many states across this country who are fighting to get people back to work. People that find themselves unemployed are there not of their own will, but arguably because of closings and consolidations, and the list goes on like you've seen and probably have heard in, in a number of the interviews that you've conducted across this uh, country. We have, by uh, stats and statistics in New Jersey, our unemployment rate here in terms of volume of people collecting weekly unemployment benefits is uh, three to three and a half times higher than it traditionally is or was, I should say, before the whole, whole economic meltdown and recession took place. And that's a lot of people. And we have to do everything we can to provide people the opportunity to get interviews and, and possibly get employed. I just believe that in today's day and age, there's a lot of challenges. I encourage the unemployed, particularly the individuals who you are representing in your interviews, to just uh, have a real sense of stick to -itiveness. It's a, uh, a transition, I believe, that a lot of people are going through, not just those over 50, but even the 40-somethings and 30-somethings. But in some measures, I've seen a lot of very good success stories where people have redefined initiatives that they've always thought that they wanted to go after but never had the opportunity because maybe early on they just had uh, responsibilities of children coming along early in their households uh, and they mortgages and things like that. And now all of a sudden they're forced into unemployment. And some people have taken a very positive approach, brushed themselves off, and really tried to get back in the game. Extremely, extremely psychologically tough to do. I understand that. But I encourage each and every one of your uh, constituents yourself to uh, take full advantage of whatever government opportunities are there in the wake of uh, free college tuition or at our community colleges like we have in New Jersey enhance their skill sets, make themselves more employable the best they can. And if they need, just uh, reach out to their local legislator in terms of uh, having input with him or her as to what avenues they believe the sector may grow, if that helps. But uh, just don't give up. It's a, it's a great country. There's a lot of opportunity there. And, and I believe in, the, in, in time we're going to come back from all of this. It's a big fight, but I think together, working together, we should be better off for it.